Buonasera, buonasera e benvenuti a Mondo Monda. Abbiamo con noi due ospiti di riguardo, americani, straordinariamente di talento. Abbiamo con noi Noah Bambach e Wes Anderson. Buonasera. Buonasera. Hello. Vorrei cominciare i primi tre film di Wes Anderson hanno avuto un altro sceneggiatore, Owen Wilson, che è anche un attore che ha partecipato a tutti questi film. Ora all'improvviso un nuovo sceneggiatore. Come mai? Cos'è successo? Penny? Well, you're probably asking what's the relationship, what's the, is the, is it different collaborating with a, a different, and I think I can answer that. O, Owen and I, our style of working together is very similar to Noah's and mine, which is um, that, um, you know, there's certain things that we start with. Like this movie, there were some basic things that, that, um, that, you know, there was, a, there was a little story that I had written years ago that I brought in and some visual concepts and a few things and then we started a process of talking it out. Ma cosa hai portato tu, Noah, nel film? C'è qualche scena, qualche sequenza, qualcosa in particolare che hai scritto tu o che può essere riferita in particolare a te? Benny? Benny? Benny, are you with us? Should I say this in English? I say that one more time, Benny? I think Benny was asking... Uh, Benny asked what are, are my, uh, my personal influences were. Yes, uh, is there any specific sequence or scene that you brought to the film? I think the end result really is that I, 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 and I think Wes feels the same way, is that I don't even know anymore who came up. It really felt like we were kind of thinking together, even though we're obviously bringing our own, you know, different backgrounds and, you know, influences. We, I think when we were there recording it, it really felt very much of the moment. It's like when you're having a, a conversation with somebody that's going well, you don't necessarily think I'm bringing this and they're bringing that. You're kind of creating it together. È una storia di padri e figli, di coppie separate e della ricerca di una grande pesce. Diremmo, riferendoci al passato, di una grande balena, anche se nel vostro caso è una squalo. It is a story of father and sons, of divorced couple, and also the search for a big fish, like Moby Dick. That's true, all these things. And had we read Moby Dick, we would have referenced that more specifically. I pirati. All'improvviso in questo film compaiono i pirati. Come mai? Let's talk about the pirates. I never heard pirates in the Mediterranean, at least those kind of pirates. Tell me something about it. I don't know if those pirates are in the Mediterranean. In the film? In the film. I think they might, I think they're in like the South Pacific or something. I'm not, it's not 100% clear where we are at that point. They're going to a place called the Ping Islands. So I think we always thought of that as, as um, but they've gone to Africa. They're, he they're headed for Africa. Port of Patois. There's Port of Patois, which right. is more like Haiti. And then there's also the Obiamiwe Peninsula, which was supposed to be their destination. Or I guess that was the previous one. Right. So it's unclear. And I don't understand real geography well enough to locate us in the imagined geography. Ritorniamo indietro alle scelte morali del film. Come credete che un film così personale possa cambiare il mondo? Let's go back to the moral choices behind this film. How do you film such a personal film can change the world? How can a personal film change the world? This personal film. Hmm. Well, probably can't. And we had no intention of doing so. Mm -mm. And we've succeeded in that. <laughs> so far. <laughs> I colori, le luci, i chiaroscuri, mi sembrano un chiaro omaggio a Caravaggio. Um, yeah, I mean, I, you know, I don't know Caravaggio that well, but I think we shot it, you know, we shot the movie in Italy, so I think it automatically brings um, probably some connection to, it, to uh, a history of Italian painting. Caravaggio's uh, aquamarine blue was a big influence on the uh, Zissou outfit. Steve B. Zissou. Bill Murray. Sembra un esempio di personaggio 
che è passato dal marxismo alla socialdemocrazia. Perché non ne parliamo? No, eh? <laughs> What was the question? Uh, it's about how you transform yourself from a Marxist into a social democrat. Right. Yeah, well, I think... Uh, uh, I don't think it's specifically any... Speci I don't think putting parties on it is, is really where it's at. Uh, Chesterton, lo scrittore inglese, diceva che un pazzo è una persona che ha perso tutto ma non la ragione. Chesterton, the, the, sorry, the English novelist, used to say that a fool is a man who has lost everything but his reason. I never heard of Chesterton. <laughs> who is Chesterton? Sounds made up. Well, <laughs> nel vostro film uh, ci sono delle canzoni di David Bowie cantate in portoghese. Come mai? Wait, Why who is Chesterton? Uh, is that a real person? Yes, but maybe it's better to move to David okay. Bowie. Okay. Okay. Uh, We know him. Nel vostro film ci sono delle canzoni di David Bowie cantate in, in portoghese. Come mai? That was an idea. Er, well, er, early on we knew we were, we're going to have a character who performs songs. He, part of their team, part of their crew, would be a guy who would perform songs. At a certain point we decided to make him Brazilian and call him Pele. So whatever he's going to sing has got to be in Portuguese at that point. Definireste il vostro film una sinfonia o una rapsodia? Well, what, what distinguishes a rhapsody from a symphony? What are they? What, are what they? does Chesterton uh, say? <laughs> Generalmente la sinfonia ha una struttura in tre o quattro movimenti, molto regolare, uh -huh. mentre la rapsodia ha una struttura libera. Generally, a rhapsody has a free structure differently from a symphony. Right. We wanted to make a symphony that seemed like a rhapsody. Would you agree with this, Saint Noah? Yes, I think... Uh, Maybe Zisu is making a rhapsody and Wes is directing a symphony. Oh, that's interesting. But do you, did you have any composer in mind? Like um, Gershwin or Beethoven or... Steve Miller, I guess we... Bowie? Yeah. yeah. Um, um, non vi sembra che il vostro film sia estremamente misogino e antifemminista. Don't you feel that the film is extremely anti-feminist and somehow misogynist? I think that question is misogynist. My yeah. question is misogynist? Why do you think my question is well, misogynist? Because it's anti-feminist. <laughs> well, I didn't think about it. True. Sorry. Perché sentite il bisogno di inventare il mondo sottomarino? È una metafora per qualcosa? Is that a metaphor for something? It's a metaphor. It is a metaphor. Yeah. And we were always talking about what is the metaphor. Right. That's, I think, the answer is we were always looking for the metaphor. The metaphor is the search or something like that. Sometimes you know? it's enough just to, yeah, have a metaphor. Just to want a metaphor. Right. Really. We had it about midway, and then I think we, I don't remember. E il famoso grande squalo rappresenta qualcosa? in the famous big shark, does it represent anything? That's a good question. Probably the same metaphor. Or before? Se dovessi, Noah, spiegare il film per la prima volta a un produttore, come lo venderesti? How would you pitch the story to a producer? Yeah, I wouldn't say it's like an Eric Romer film on the water. I think Wes and I like European movies a lot and we like American movies a lot and we, we didn't do this deliberately but I, when I look back at it I think we, we combined, we took a kind of American, the shell of a kind of epic that might be a more American type film and, and then uh, characters that you might see more in a European film. That's how I'd pitch it. Yeah, <laughs> that would... <laughs> it's the that shell would. of an epic. Noah, tu credi in Dio? You believe in God? Uh, no. What about you? I think so. Really? Yeah, I mean, I mean, roughly. Credi nel diavolo? Do you believe in the devil? It doesn't really interest me. 
I guess not. Credi nella forza redentrice dell'arte? Do you believe in art as something that can redeem humanity? Yeah. I mean, I think art is there to inspire people. So that's free. that can be redemptive, right? Yeah. We're all just trying to figure it out. And that's what art Before it goes yeah. black for us. Credi mm -hmm. che il cinema abbia una, una funzione politica? Yes. Immagina di non essere un co-sceneggiatore di un amico del regista. Come si sente uno sceneggiatore quando scrive una scena o una battuta che viene tagliata? Uh, betrayed, I guess. Um, uh, sad, saddened. Uh, uh, makes a phone call. I vostri film, i tuoi in particolare, si notano subito per l'uso dei colori. C'è qualche colore che ti dà tristezza. One of the things that you notice watching your films is the use of the color, so luminous, so glamorous. Is there any particular color that makes you in a sad mood? Black? Noah? Uh, the rug, this <laughs> Halloween orange. Ritorniamo a parlare per un attimo del grande cinema degli anni 70. Cosa vi ha insegnato quel cinema? Ho capito i vostri riferimenti a dei grandi registi come Scorsese, Bogdanovic e Kubrick, ma cosa avete imparato da quel cinema? What did you learn from the great filmmakers of the 70s? I understand the references to Bogdanovic, Scorsese, even Kubrick, but what did you learn? What is the lesson? How did they change your filmmaking, your life? That's a tough one. You don't have anything on that? Uh, I was waiting for you to start. Oh. Uh, Niente? I mean, I, they're great. OK, facciamo un gioco. Let's play a game. OK. Io vi faccio dei nomi e voi, di registi e voi mi dite la prima cosa che vi ricorda. I, I'll name a few names of filmmakers and you will tell me the first thing that comes to your mind. Do we say it at the same time, or do we go in succession? How about uh, simultaneously? Okay. So, okay. That's okay. Arthur Penn. I was going to say that look at the end of Bonnie and Clyde, when they, oh, they're better. really quick. Francis that's Ford Coppola. Defiance. That's good. Um, be better. Uh, uh, the sound. Stanley Kubrick. Antiseptic. Coldness. F William Friedkin. Energy. Tangerine Dream. Brian De Palma. Surreal. Moving through walls. Dreamy. How Hal screen to me. Hal Ashby. Humanist? Noah? I was gonna say Cat Stevens, but I'll just say Cat. Steven Spielberg. Bicycle. E.T. I like that. George Lucas? Wookie. <laughs> <laughs> Which I think is <laughs> what we're, to, this rug is. The lightsaber. Paul Mazursky. Threesome. Threesome? Threesome. Diceva che la differenza tra un ottimista e un pessimista è che un pessimista vede delle difficoltà in ogni opportunità e un ottimista delle opportunità in ogni difficoltà. Winston Churchill used to say that the difference between a pessimist and an optimist is that the pessimist sees difficulties in every opportunity, while the optimist sees opportunities in every difficulties. Right. Mm. Yes. Uh, but is that it? But, and so what's the question? The question is, how do you see say this pessimist or an optimist? Are you a pessimist or an optimist? Optimist. Optimist. <laughs> non mi sembrava il tono di un ottimista. It doesn't sound like an optimist. Yeah, tone. I'm a, uh, I'm like a optimist. negative op optimist. Oh. Anche tu sei un... Tu come ti consideri un negative optimist? Just regular. Let's try to wrap here. Uh, I want to congratulate again for the magnificent film that you made. Just a couple of questions. Uh, 
What would you say to an audience? Cosa diresti al tuo pubblico? Perché devono vedere questo film? Why they should see this film? Why they should go to the theaters and look at this film? Well, I mean, we tried to make it good, you know? We, 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 I was, the, we threw everything we had at it. E we spent a lot of money on it. Mi sembra una risposta molto soddisfacente. Ringraziamo i nostri ospiti, ringraziamo Noah Baumbach, ringraziamo Wes Anderson. Gli auguriamo il meglio per questo straordinario film. I want to thank Noah Baumbach, Wes Anderson. I think it's a very satisfactory uh, answer and we wish you the best for the success of Life Aquatic. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you. Grazie. Thank you very much.